Hi. So in this session, we want to talk about, we want to discuss a new problem. So this is a very, very interesting problem and a very commonly used interview problem as well. So I particularly like this problem a lot, right? So this problem basically requires you to, uh, so if you open your phone and look at the keypad, right? So in your smartphones as well, when you open the keypad to dial a number, you will see that each of these numbers have some characters written below them, right? So for example, two will have ABC written below it, three will have DEF written below it, four will have GHI and so on. So seven has PQRS, eight has TUV and nine has WXYZ, right? So these are the numbers that are written on below the uh, like the keys that you have for each number there are few characters written below it right so previously uh, before smartphones previously they were used these characters were used for any kind of typing right so if i want to type let's say and then generally what i would do is i'll use two to basically uh, type a and then uh, whatever n is corresponding to whichever uh, number then i'll press that and similarly for d i'll press 3. so that's how we used to type uh, when we didn't have the uh, like the keyboard which has a b c d written on it we just had the keypad so we used to use this for writing sms's that's fine so that's not important the important part is in this problem you would be given a number right let's say you are given 24 now if you look at 24, 2 corresponds to ABC, 4 corresponds to GHI. So what you need to do is, you need to return an array containing all possible combination of characters. So for example, in case of 24, the user might have meant that they want to type A and G, they might have meant AH, AI, they might have meant BG, they might have meant BH, BI, or CG, CH, CI. So these are the options. So if I am typing 24 on my keypad, so these are the possible strings that you can make by these two numbers, right? So two corresponds to ABC, four corresponds to GHI. These are the possible combinations that you can make corresponding to the characters that you have uh, with respect to two and four, right? Similarly, if I give you 234, so two has ABC, three is uh, DEF, 4 is GHI. So this basically means now your possible uh, strings that you can create using 234 is ADG, ADH, ADI and so on. You will basically have 27 possible strings here. 27 because you need to find a character corresponding to 2. How many options do you have? You have 3 options. How many you have four corresponding to three? You have three options. How many corresponding to four? You have three options. So in total, you will have 27 combinations in your output, right? And this three is not fixed, right? So if I give you 237, now you will have three combination, three and then four possible characters here. So the number of uh, outputs, number of strings in my output will be 36 here, right? Not 27. So that's fine. So the problem, is very very clear given a number return an array or a list containing all the strings all the strings that you can form using this combination of numbers right so if i give you 35 that basically means whatever characters 3 can uh, 3 has on the keypad whatever characters 5 has on the keypad what are the all possible combinations that you can make using these characters and these characters. You have to choose one of these and one of these. That's what we need to do here. Okay. Perfect. So how do we uh, take care of this problem? Now, if you think of this recursively, it's not that hard a problem. Right. So first of all, let's assume that we will not have one and zero in our uh, input. 1 corresponds to special characters, I think, and 0 corresponds to space. So let's assume that 1 and 0 are not part of our input. So what you can think of this is, let's say you had a single digit number, right, 2. 
then do you know the output you know the output right like now the output is you can either have a or you can have b so you have three possible outputs in case of two so that will be that could be potentially your base case or the base case could be that my number is empty let's say my number is zero right let's assume that as i keep reducing my number eventually it will become zero so that represents that i don't have any number i haven't written anything on my keypad so what are the possible words what are the possible strings that you can make with that right so if your output array what would be the size of your output array and what would be the elements of this output array see now some people will argue that this should be an empty array an empty list because this corresponding to zero there is no possible word there is nothing possible when you have a zero but i think the right answer is empty string when i have not written anything on the keyboard keypad there is an empty string right so this corresponds to an empty string so if you get an empty number your output will have one string and that is empty string so we have two options for base case if this is not very clear to you you can use this as the base case this is easier to handle this base case is much easier to handle because i don't have to create these three elements things are very simple if the number is zero i'll create an array uh, and add an empty string to that and i'll be done right so up to you how do you want to do it perfect now when the base case is done now let's think about if i am given 234 what can i do right let's take a smaller example let's look at 23 so what can i do so what i'll do is i'll basically call on the smaller number right a smaller part of it either on 3 or let's say on 2 so i'll call on 2 so when i call on 2 2 will return me its correct output why induction hypothesis i've taken care of base case now I'm going to assume that induction hypothesis works and for smaller size strings, smaller size numbers, my function works fine. So for 2, I'll get my correct output that is this. My smaller output will have 3 entries with ABC in it. Now how do I produce the output corresponding to 23? Right? How do I produce the output corresponding to 23? Okay. So 3 is the uh, number that you had left while you called the smaller output, while you uh, called recursion. Corresponding to 3, we can have DEF, right? I think whatever is the output from the smaller number, all these number, all these strings that you have, they can either be appended by D, they can either be appended by E, they can either be appended by F. These are the three options that you have. So let me take another example. So let's take 234 and let's say we call on 23. So for 23, this is the output that you will get. Might be different order, but this is what you will get. A D, A E, A F, B D, B E, B F, C D, C E, C F. Now your work for 23 is done. What you need to do is you need to decide which character you want corresponding to 4. For 4, you have 3 options, GHI. Now what you can do is, all these can either have G in front of them, or can have H, or can have I. So using this smaller output, the way I will create the larger output will be, I will create this new list, copy all of them here, first of all append G in front of them. So ADG, AEG, AFG. B D G B E G B F G C D G C E G and C F G. Now, once I'm done with G, what I will do is I'll append H in front of them. So I'll pick them again, copy all of them here again, append H in front of them. Then I'll copy them again and I'll append I in front of them. So basically, what I'm saying is I have called recursion and recursion is taking care of the decision for 2 and 3 and now I have to take a decision only for 4. 
so whatever the decisions for 23 has been done uh, i have already uh, this smaller output where i have taken decision for 2 and 3 now for 4 these are the options and i have appended that in front of the smaller output to get to my desired output okay so how will we code this how will we solve this problem very simple base case what i am suggesting is take 0 to be the base case and we will return this then we will basically take a smaller integer to find the smaller integer whatever is the input you divide it by 10 so if you have 234 you divide it by 10 you will end up getting 23 so this is my smaller int the remaining digit will be input percentage 10 so that will give me the last digit that will give me the last digit. So, I will get the smaller output by calling recursion get combinations on smaller integer. Once you have this smaller output, what you need to do is you need to create a new output. This is a new array and copy these here. First time whatever is the remaining digit you need to see what are the options corresponding to remaining digit here we have four as remaining digit so we have ghi as the options so copy these append g in front of them then copy again append h in front of them then copy again and append i in front of them and you'll be done that's the code that you need to write okay so again i would highly recommend to try it out by yourself before you look at how i will do it right like there is solution uh, after the like there is a solution as well but i would recommend you to first try this out by yourself and then look at then look at the solution if required okay perfect thank you